Well, I guess it's time for me to do my BCSF Region 1 uh, update. And uh, my name is Richard Cronje, and I'm with the BC Snowmobile Federation. And I currently sit as the Vice President, uh, and I'm up in Dawson Creek, British Columbia. Today, I'm the Club President of uh, PVSA, and we're having our annual fundraiser called Thunder on the Mountain. And maybe you've seen all the promos we've done uh, for our great event. And uh, it's it's cold <laughs> it's minus 20 today but it's better than last year and uh, we're still having a whole lot of fun uh, last year we had about 32 racers uh, this year we have 54 racers so our event is grown and we're very excited uh, this year we have a heritage under 100 class uh, so any of the old snowmobiles that you see from 1990 possibly uh, older that are under 100 horsepower it's a no entry fee, it's a no prize, no event. You could just come on up, run and have fun. We're calling it the Run What You Run and uh, we're pretty excited about that. We've got about five or six entries for that one. But the exciting one is we had so many people come up and say, you know what, we got sleds but they're over 100 horsepower. So we have a huge XLT Polaris following over there thanks to Team Creekworks. I think we've got uh, six or seven just alone of those and some older sleds. So those should be fun this afternoon. We're taking a little intermission right now. She's been uh, 800 classes have been big. And uh, so we're going to start now running a few vintage classes. And hopefully you're going to start to see some of them coming. I hear them starting to warm up over there. So before all the noise starts, we should talk about what's happening around Region 1. Up north, we have uh, the Fort Nelson Snowmobile Club uh, going strong with uh, Mr. Wheeler. And uh, I hear up there, we had our Region 1 teleconference here not too long ago, and I heard that uh, we're still having some trouble with guys up there that are riding on trails with quads and kind of disrespecting and tearing apart all the hard work that's gone up up there. And, you know, that's very disappointing. Uh, the clubs have uh, limited funds. Everything they raise is on, a, is on that little membership fee that comes in and, and whatever kind of event they can put on and they spend hours in fuel and groomer repairs to keep that running. So, you know, join a club, get involved, find out what's going on in behind the scenes of, uh, of clubs all across British Columbia. There's a lot of hard work by a lot of volunteers and just what you see up here today, I'm so thankful for the guys that we have in our club and what's going on. Uh, Fort, now, uh, Fort St. John, uh, Peter Buchert up there, and they're gonna have their poker ride on March 1st. and. They got some NTC funny money, so they're going to be uh, out there uh, breaking, brushing trails on the uh, normal Stewart Lake route that they would do that on. But this year they're going to do it up on Charlie Lake, so we're excited for that on March 1st. This should be a lot of fun. Hopefully, I get to go up there and uh, see what's going on. Tumbler Ridge, I know uh, Randy Cutler there stepped in as president, and uh, they've got uh, some snow finally. Just like the rest of the province, it's been sketchy. Uh, with warm temperatures and stuff, but they finally have got some snow here in the last couple of weeks So there should be some more riding up there And I know they're working hard to establish some trails just like in Chetland with the Chetland Trailblazers are trying to establish trails Donegal Wilson in the BCSF office is doing a bang-up job of trying to keep the wheels on the train there and establish those trails for them uh, Who else we got? We got Marlon Spooner and McKenzie that uh, they got a snow rama ride coming up here in March and raising money for Easter seals. I would suggest that everybody get out and help that and hopefully I can make it uh, to your event, Marlon. It'd be exciting to go for a ride out there. I know you guys do a great job there as well. So let's talk about the BCSF and their 50th, uh, 50th year, 2015. We're 50 years old uh, for representing snowmobilers in British Columbia. What a great feat. Uh, one of the biggest uh, outdoor uh, enthusiasts for motorized recreation and it's great to have uh, all the people all the volunteers at the BCSF they've done a they've done a hard job uh, keeping the wheels on the train there as well so it's going to be a great party down in 100 mile house and uh, I know Donegal and Aaron are working on uh, having some MLAs there and it'll be a lot of fun they're going to have a dinner a dance uh, hopefully a ride on the gold rush snowmobile trail what an awesome opportunity to uh, to get there and probably ride in some warmer temperature and hopefully the snow will still be there and it'll be a great time uh, to meet and greet and rub shoulders with people who kept the Federation going for 50 years. You know we talk about the Snowmobile Federation and uh, it's overwhelming. I got involved two three years ago. When you see with a scope of the work that gets involved uh, with keeping organized snowmobiling going, 
riding in the back country. It's not just a free-for-all. You just don't get there uh, without being on the hard work and, and the backs of many, many volunteers who've stepped forward over the years. And some of these volunteers have got 30 plus years into what's gone on for the Snowmobile Federation. Keep that in mind when you're out there and you're riding trails and, and you see those guys at the trailheads and they're collecting fees. Those guys, they're putting in the time, they're putting in the hours. You wouldn't have that access if it wasn't for snowmobile clubs in British Columbia. Um, so, looks like we're still on a break here. Hopefully later, watch for some more updates on Thunder in the Mountain. And uh, hopefully we'll get to see you down in Hunter Mile House for the BCSF celebrating 50 years. Over and out.